You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Dobry den, jak se masz? Welcome to Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. <laughs> and my name is Rob. You'll have to explain to me what that was. Hello. How are you? In what? Check. In check. Very good. Hello. How are you? Welcome to episode number 589. We're glad that you're with us. I've got one more thing for you, Rob. Hope you had a great weekend. What's that? Sipekna krasna. You're beautiful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome to another awesome show. This is going to be wait, a wait, 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 wait. Why do you know that one? Well, how else are you going to tell girls are beautiful in the Czech Republic? That's what I thought. It was a pickup line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but normally you just say, I'm American, and that's enough. That's all it takes. <laughs> oh, gosh. No wonder he was there. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Actually, there were, there were multiple times that... There were girls that were looking for those guys. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And, like, you could kind of tell. So, like, one time this girl came up to me and, like, scratched my shoulder. And she's like, I hear you're American. And I was all, Nemovi Mangretsky. <laughs> which means I don't speak English. <laughs> so, oh, that's funny. Anyway. But, guys, welcome. Welcome to the show. We've got lots of stories. Stories that have been made living the drone life, uh, which you could be doing, too. But today we have a very super short episode based on a question about how to measure AGL, MSL, what it all means, where you can fly, where you can't. And actually, I think the conversation preceding this podcast recording may be longer than the podcast itself because we were talking about people who ask these questions. Do they have their 107? Because if they did... It's funny, our, our producer was like, because if they did have a 107, they should revoke the 107 for not knowing the answer to this question. <laughs> well, yeah, because it is part of getting your 107 and studying and all that good stuff. But um, I think we have a lot of listeners that do not have their 107 yet. And there's a lot of people that just don't know this stuff yet. I mean, you could True. be new to the industry, new to drones. You could be wanting to, to set up a drone team at your office and you're navigating yeah, the space. Yeah, absolutely. There's all kinds of people that are trying to figure these things out. So bear with us as we... Uh, uh, kind of have a stretch here of um, questions that maybe a lot of you already know the answers to. But anyways, hopefully there's some value for you and we're going to play the question. Yay. Let's talk about AGL. So if you're standing on a cliff and let's say that the cliff is 300 feet above sea level and you've got the drone 10 feet off the ground. So are you 10 feet or the minute you go off the cliff and there's 300 feet below you, are you at 310 feet? How does it know, how does it measure whether you're, uh, what level or what distance you are AGL? Good question. Um, thank you very much for sending that in. By the way, guys, if you have a question, don't forget, go to askdroneu.com. Get that question in that everybody else is thinking, or a lot of other people are thinking as well that they would like to have answered. So be the one that gets it answered for them. Uh, makes me think of the town that I'm from, it's kind of a little bit hilly, or there's mesas and then neighborhoods below that. So you could take advantage of being taking off from the top of the hill, right? Which is always like even in military strategy, they tell you that the, the person who has the higher vantage point has the advantage. And the same thing is true when you're flying a drone, but for different reasons. The reason is actually the distance in which you can get a better quality signal for your drone. But this could also be another good reason to start from a higher vantage point, And that mm -hmm. is that your AGL or above ground limit altitude is based off of your takeoff point. Right. So, for example, yes, if you take off at the top of that cliff and you're 10 feet above the cliff, you are at 10 feet AGL. Now, the mean sea level will be different because that is the actual altitude they're in. Um, but this is also an issue, like, let's say you're mapping a ranch, like we were doing this last weekend for a new class. Huge incline, thousands of feet in incline from the bottom of the ranch to the top of the ranch. Right. Um, in fact, I think on the measurement, it was like 1,700 feet in elevation. Huge number. Um, and we were actually mapping the upper end of the ranch, and we were flying pretty high up. And before I was even maybe 80 feet away, it was like maximum flight altitude reached. So yeah. I had to go in, change my altitude, just so that I could stay you know, I could continue mapping because the AGL was really only like 100 feet. 
from that current position. Right. So there are times where 400 feet AGL is going to be even higher than where you are or your current position. Um, but there are caveats. And if you're a 107 pilot, you know that you can fly up to 400 feet or within 400 feet of the tallest part of a structure or building as long as you're within 400 foot radius. If the mountain was my building because it was a part of the property, I guess you could define it as such. But when we're taking off at 8,000 feet, trying to go to 9,000 feet, as long as we're not more than 400 feet AGL from the land, mm-hmm. we're good. So in that case, that's sort of the reverse, right? You exactly. could take off from the bottom, but the the level is rising. Mm-hmm. So your sea level is rising, Your whatever that... Well, sea level MSL. isn't rising, but no, no, mean no. sea level is rising. I, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the MSL is rising, mm-hmm. but your ground level is okay. Exactly. As it goes up. Exactly. So, and I wanted to give that example because there are examples of going up and there are examples of going down. Right. So I think that's important. But also, sir, I would recommend that you read your 107 because uh, I think it's really important um, to know. But also, if he's a hobbyist and he didn't go for his 107. we don't know what his purpose is. True. So if you are going to be flying commercially, obviously. So benefit of the doubt. There you go. As, As often as possible, we like to say. Anyway, so I don't know. Is there really anything more to add? You One question I don't think so. you mentioned flying as long as you're not above 400 feet above the tallest building. Above the tallest point of the building. So if there's a spire or something. So let's talk about Albuquerque. Um, Hyatt building. Well, that's in controlled airspace. So let's say, let's just pretend it's not. Okay. okay? Um, Hyatt building is 18 stories plus two stories of the Rody Law Firm plus a secret little place that no one knows about that's on the top of the building, which is really cool to go to, by the way. Um, so you're about 21, 22 stories. You got a radio tower on top of that. So you're probably like 24 stories. I could be 400 feet above that. Taking off from the ground? Yes. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. That's for 107. If you're a hobbyist, you cannot do that. Right. Period. Cool. So. So, gosh, I mean, you think of Manhattan or Chicago. Of course, then you're really in controlled airspace. You're probably not mm. supposed to be flying in there, period. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a different issue. Yeah. Anyways. So it's funny because someone was actually arguing um, on one of the Facebook groups that this person was flying at like 30,000 feet in elevation. And someone's like, you can't fly higher than literally like 1,500 feet. Like the maximum altitude is 500 meters on a Phantom or Inspire or Inspire 2. And this guy's like, no way. I, if people know how to do it, they can go higher. <laughs> Guys, don't forget there's this, there's this thing in physics called density altitude. Google it. On that bombshell, it's going to do it for us today. (laughs) My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. This is Ask Dronio.